500 years had passed and the fruits of Christianity in the Philippines is now being relished by the faithful all over the country. Together, let us take a trip down memory lane and look at the most eventful times in our diocese as we take part in this momentous event of our Christian faith. On the place that used to be Rice Paddies 70 years ago, now stands the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, the seat of the Diocese of Cubao. In 1935, a small chapel was built on rice fields and was administered by Father Henry Desmond, a priest from the Society of the Divine Word. The SVD priests attended to the pastoral and spiritual needs of a limited farming community. The chapel built was dedicated to San Isidro Labrador and belonged to Sacred Heart Parish in Camuni. On December 8, 1949, the patron San Isidro Labrador was changed to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. On July 15, 1950, the community chapel was canonically erected to become the Immaculate Conception Parish with Father Juan Simon as its first parish priest. After many years, the SVD community passed on their legacy and turned over the administration of the Immaculate Conception Parish to the Archdiocese of Manila on April 30, 1990. Monsignor Rinaldo Celso was installed as the first diocesan parish priest by His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin. With the continued growth of the Christian community that was becoming more and more diverse with the influx of Filipinos migrating from the provinces into the city, the Archdiocese of Manila recognized the ever greater challenge of keeping the faithful together. The Archdiocese needed to give birth to suffragan dioceses. On June 28, 2003, the Diocese of Cubao was established. However, a diocese doesn't stand on its own without having a cathedral. The word cathedral comes from the Latin word cathedra. It means a seat. It's more of the symbol because a seat is a piece of furniture, just like the chair of the board. We don't speak of a chair, but it's the position of someone in a corporation. So in the Catholic Church, we use the word cathedral to signify the place where the bishop, you know, resides. Well, when you say episcopacy, it means uh, literally it's a Greek overseer. So the bishops are asked to oversee a particular jurisdiction of the church, which we call diocese. So in a diocese, there is only one cathedral. And usually, that's the place where the bishop resides. Maybe the strong devotion of a particular community, and so they name it just like uh, in the diocese, we have four parishes under the patronage of Mary, the Immaculate Conception. And Christ, who is higher, of course, Christ the King, we have only two, okay? Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we have two. So how come? I think it's more of the choice of the people, their devotion, their subculture. Filipinos' Marian devotion was undeniable and has never been stronger. This is the reason why the Filipino people have been called Pueblo Amanda de Maria, or people in love with Mary. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is known for promoting the devotion to Mary. This focus is evident not only in the pastoral activities that build up the devotion, but also through the art depicted on its walls. The beautiful stained glass windows of the cathedral exhibit the most important scenes of the life of Mary. The Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary 
the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and image of Our Lady of Pentecost. You know, when we were doing the renovations, we I followed the the style of the church, which is of the cathedral, which is parang neo-Romanesque, na may pagka neoclassic. So, ang, ang inspiration are also from sources na ganun. For instance, in the 19th century, there was um, there were churches in Europe that were built in that style, like the um, Sacre Coeur and the um, Almudena in Madrid. And those are among the sources that I looked at uh, and got inspired. I also looked at a lot of uh, classical paintings. Uh, I, I said we have to choose um, also scenes in the Virgin's life that have some kind of dramatic impact when we build the stained glass. So the, the three large windows, of course, for the facade, we have the Immaculate Conception. And then some, some lateral facade facing Lantana, uh, the Blessed Virgin as uh, the mother of the church, so Pentecost. That's why we, we chose Pentecost. And then uh, the opposite side, of course, kasi uh, I have a devotion for St. Joseph, and, and so did Monsignor Dan. So we both agreed to dedicate that window to St. Joseph. Truly, the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao is not just rich in history, but also a perfect presentation of art and devotion. The cathedral that has withstood the test of time for seven decades has also been a place that witnessed remarkable events in the diocese. Ordinations, weddings, establishment of the diocese's judicial tribunal, and a solemn rite for the opening of the cause for beatification and canonization of the servant of God, Darwin Ramos, on August 28, 2019. And although a lot of memories have been made in the years past, we still have many things to look forward to. A very important para sa cathedral na maipasa, no? Maipasa yung pananampalataya, no? Ma-share, no? Sa mas maraming tao. Uh, at, at sana yun ang magpatuloy, no? Uh, at, at this is a responsibility of everyone that uh, yung bawat isa may maiaambag, yung bawat isa may maibibigay para siguraduhin na yung pananampalataya ay naibabahagi. No? And that is every responsibility of parents, for example, in their family, tapos yung catechists no? sa mga estudyante nila, o kaya sa mga fellow ministers. No? I think what is important is uh, we continue to grow in our motivation to share. No? Ang debosyon sa Mahal na Birhen, paalaala sa atin, ay ang paglalim ng ating kalooban na matulad sa kalooban ng Mahal na Birheng Maria. So, imitation. No? Ang tunay na diboto ng Mahal na Ina ay ang pagtulad sa Kanya. Tularan ang halimbawa ng Mahal na Birhen. At yan, walang kapalit yan sapagkat yan ay kalugud-lugud. Hindi lang sa Mahal na Ina, kundi sa ating Panginoon. Hindi pwede tayo magpatalo sa takot, eh, no? Lagi tayo magahanap ng paraan para ibahagi ang uh, pananampalataya na tinanggap natin mula sa Panginoon, mula sa mga misyonero. Lagi tayo magahanap ng paraan kung paano maging misyonero, kung paano maging magbisyon. No? We always have to look for ways. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Online. Anong meron tayo ngayon? Social media. No? Anong meron tayo ngayon? Chat. No? Napakaraming pwede nating i-message mga kaibigan, mga kakilala na dumadaan sa mga pagsubok o kaya naman may sakit o nasa quarantine. No, we have to, kailangan natin silang kamustahin araw-araw. We continue to find ways how to spread the good news 
Oo, maraming pagsubok, maraming nawawala ng pag-asa, pero nasa puso ng pananampalataya natin, meron pa ring mabuting balita. At kailangan hindi tayo nawawalan ng lakas at ng gana para maghanap ng mga pagkakataon para ipahayag ang mabuting balita ng ating Panginoon. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Cubao joins the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019 upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at wag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok. Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawaing bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, Tumuloy ka sa Espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba.
morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. The presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Father Ray. Sa panahong tigang ang lupa, sa panahong ang anis sa gana, sa panahon ng digmaan at kaguluhan, sa panahon ng kapayapaan, sa pahag ng Panginoon, kung bayan ngayon nagtitipon upang pagsaluhan ang kaligtasan handog ng Diyos sa tanang In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit to prepare my dear brothers and sisters to celebrate this Eucharist let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came for us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, of the grace of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, the abundance of your joy and your profound poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity on your part. For according to your means, I can testify, and beyond your means, spontaneously, they begged us insistently for the favor of taking part in the service to the Holy Ones. And this, not as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and to us through the will of God, so that we urged Titus that, as he had already begun, he should also complete for you this gracious act also. Now as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. I say this not by way of command, but to test the genuineness of your love by your concern for others. For you to know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that for your sake he became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. 
praise the Lord my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord my soul. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord my soul. Who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord my soul. Please stand. Alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You should love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his Son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same. And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, Paul reminded the people that Jesus offered himself for the sake of the love of God in order to save us, to save all of us, the poor, the hungry, those who are persecuted, those who are recognized in the community, salvation, is for all of us because He loves us. In the Gospel, we have heard that Jesus is teaching us a new commandment out of love in order for us to be like Him. Tinuturuan tayo ng Panginoon ng panibagong paraan upang matul matulara natin siya sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal hindi lamang sa mga taong nagmamahal din sa atin but rather to those people whom we do not love the reward is greater than the usual thing that we do to love those who love us. In one of the houses of missionaries of charity during the time of Mother Teresa, there were bandits 
who ransack many of the orphanages, institutions. And one day, pinasok nila ang bahay ampunan kung nasaan si Mother Teresa. Sa may mga dala silang baril at tinutukan si Mother Teresa at ang mga madre, nasaan ang inyong mga pagkain? So dali-dali, tinuro ni Mother Teresa ang mga bodega. And then, sabi ni Mother Teresa, dito, meron pa, dito. Nagtataka yung pinuno kasi itinuturo kung saan-saan hanggang sa kahit yung kasuluk-sulukan na pwede naman nilang iligtas na para hindi makuha yung mga nakatagong bigas. Sabi ng pinuno kay Mother Teresa, Why are you doing this? Bakit mo itinuturo lahat? Dapat magalit ka sa akin. Sabi ni Mother Teresa, inawakan sa pisngi yung pinuno ng mga bandido at sinabi, How can I hate you if Jesus loves you? Nagulat yung mga tulisan. In the end, ang ginawa ng pinuno, inutusan niya lahat ng kanyang kasama na ipababa lahat ng kanilang naransak, pati yung mga pagkain na kuha nila sa ibang lugar at idinonate sa ampunan ni Mother Teresa. Love can do a great miracle. When we begin it with ourselves, we convert many people and they could give more than what we expect. Ang pag-ibig na ipinapamalas natin in an extraordinary way ay maaaring tularan at higit pang maging mabunga kapag ito ay ipinamalas dahil sa pagmamahal din natin sa Diyos. Ang pagmamahal ng Diyos Walang pinipili. Sabi nga sa Ibanghelyo, pinapapatak ang ulan sa mga mabubuti at hindi mabubuti at pinasisikat ang araw sa mga gumagawa ng mabuti at hindi gumagawa ng mabuti. In short, salvation is for all of us. Let us ask God that we may be able to imitate Him in the Eucharist. That as we celebrate this Eucharist, we may imitate the example that Jesus did for us, broke, being broken for others, distributing and feeding us with His body and blood so that we may have life. Amen. Please stand. Let us approach our loving Father, who is full of love and truthfulness for us. Let us say, Father, gather us in your love. Father, gather us in your love. That the leaders of the church may give witness to the people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That those who are angry and bitter with your neighbors may realize that giving in, that giving in to feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love that families that are divided and torn apart because of indifference toward one another may discover your former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating your special role in joining Christ in his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. For all the intentions offered in this Mass, and for all our other intentions, especially the intentions of those people who are asking for our prayers, the sick, those who are recovering, those who are tormented with various problems, and for those who find life difficult. Loving Father, help us to follow your example so that we may bear Christ in our hearts now and forever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so it may bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created a human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, with the choirs of angels and with all the saints, in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the ye fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we, pr we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Ang pumukaw sa ating puso at kaluluwa at siyang nagdulo sa ating buhay liwanag sa dilim at pag-asa pag ang siyang buklod natin Di mapapawi kailan pa man sa puso't diwa tayo'y salamang kahit na tayo ay magkawalay pagkat ang Diyos natin Diyos ng pag-ibig magmahalan Tayo't magtulungan At kung tayo'y bigo Ay huwag limutin Na may Diyos tayong nagmamahal Si Diyos ay pag-ibig Diyos ay pag Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is completed. Go and share the blessings which you have received. Thanks be to God. Sa panahong tigang ang lupa, sa panahon ng anisagana, sa panahon ng digmaan at kaguluhan, sa panahon ng kapayapaan, umayo na ipahayang kanyang pagkalinga at habang. Isa buhay pag-ibig at katarungan, tanda ng kanyang kaharian.
Thank you.